Jay-Z over the course of his career, and I have to still say allegedly, has done things and allegedly participated in a lot of things that the public would not be happy to know. Joe yeah. mm. Carter has been buying companies and stopping my projects for 15 years. Mm. Oh, Miguel is the one yeah. that put Jay-Z on. Mm. Yeah. Jay-Z was the last person to see Big L alive. It's been a couple of weeks since the feds raided Diddy and made headlines all across the country. But as the dust settles from that debacle, it's becoming clear that this quiet that's happening right now is just the calm before the storm. You see, 50 Cent says that what the feds have on Diddy isn't anything compared to what they have on Jay-Z. And once they go after him, then they'll get Beyonce too. Why is our queen bay being brought up so often when it comes to all of Diddy's debauchery? Stick around and I'll tell you, you know you want to know. So let's get right to it. It's been known for a long time that Diddy and Jay-Z are friends. They've collaborated on a number of songs together, with one song called Young G's going back so far that not only were Puffy and Jay-Z on it, but Biggie too. I personally think Biggie was the one that really shined on that track, and I personally like his work better than Jay's or Diddy's. Anyway, people are saying that the Carters, both Jay-Z and Beyonce, knew what Diddy was doing behind closed doors for decades and didn't report him. And while a lot of people, myself included, feel like if they were complacent in his crimes, that that's just as bad as if they committed the crimes themselves, it gets even more twisted. Word on the street is that Jay-Z and Beyonce had a similar thing going, allegedly. And 50 Cent is out here calling them out for it. It's wild 50 Cent is posting about Jay-Z, wondering where his location is, because I think he's the next domino to fall. There's a lot of strain. Over the years, there's been a lot of stuff going down between 50 and Jay. And now he's more than happy to dish about all the hot gossip he has on Jay-Z and Beyonce, like the petty king he is. And I'm here for it, honestly. Here's what happened. The feds raided Diddy. Then 50 hit social media and started asking the questions no one else was asking. And honestly, a lot of us didn't even know about. Like, where the hell did Jay-Z disappear to? It can be pretty easy to say that 50 may be out here stirring up drama because he's got beef with Jay-Z. And maybe that's true. But two things can be true at the same time. Like, it can be true that 50 doesn't like Jay-Z, and also that Jay-Z was up to some shady stuff that needs to be looked at. But what tells me that 50 isn't just taking us down to Petty Town is that insiders have been screaming for years that Jay-Z and Diddy are running the same circles, that they have shared connections and shared interests. And 50 is nothing if not committed to trolling Diddy. He's been out here clowning on Diddy for years. And to be fair, he's been right. He called Diddy a fruit pop, and then it turns out that, yeah, Diddy isn't just gay or bi, but he's done some downright deviant and criminal stuff. You gotta kick it in, and he's like, yo, why don't we like go shopping or something? I mean, like, I pay for it. And I was like, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I got away from him, because I was like, this is I'm wondering about what 50 said about Jay-Z disappearing. Where are all of Diddy's friends? I mean, he got himself in trouble and nobody's out here defending him. How do you be that powerful and have no one that's loyal to you? 50 shared this hilarious image to his Instagram account. Jay-Z's photo on the milk carton with the word missing in bold letters across the top is a great way to get the message across that Jay-Z hasn't said a single word about Diddy's legal problems. What's funnier is that 50 captioned the post, Anybody seen Jay? Lol. Puff said the dude ain't answering his phone. Lol. Then he made another post sharing this picture of Jay-Z waving. He captioned it saying, Here's Jay-Z last reported seen waving at Puffy Jet. Lol. He exposed them for their Grammys too. Jay-Z's career, you can look at that and say the association to Beyonce is when he started to receive the 16, what, yeah, 16, 17 Grammys since he's been with Beyonce. Right? And, and you go prior to that, one. Right. You see what I'm saying? So that came in association, like, like you see the, the kids even have Grammys. Like, they don't, they don't sing yet. They don't sing. <laughs> Right. They don't rap yet, <laughs> and they already have Grammys. So it's like they give this, give them this trophy, so so we secure that they're coming mm -hmm. to the award show. It meant that much to the culture that they just gave them 
Now, because 50 Cent is casting so much attention at Jay-Z in light of Diddy's arrest, rumors have been going wild online. There are people saying that Beyonce might divorce Jay-Z and remove herself from this whole messy situation before it gets bad bad. There's been some whispers going around that she even moved to separate her assets from her husband's as a preventative measure in case Jay-Z got taken down as collateral in Diddy's legal case. But that's not the only thing the rumor mill has stirred up. Yeah, there's the side where she's protecting herself knowing that Jay did something awful. But there's also stuff going around saying she's responsible too. Some people are saying we can't just assume that our beloved Queen Bey is the icon of innocence. People are saying that Beyonce didn't just sit back and watch as Jay got in on the shenanigans with Diddy. They're saying she allegedly participated herself. And there's a lot of people who think that Beyonce encouraged Jay to get rid of competition and obstacles that stood in the way of her career. Some of the accusations range from sabotaging other artists and witchcraft. In that article's headline, you can see that Beyonce's drummer accused her of killing someone. The drummer's name is Kimberly Thompson. Back in 2018, Kimberly made the accusation that Beyonce was practicing extreme witchcraft. She believed this so much that she got a restraining order against Bay, saying she'd use spells and magic against her and that she kept doing it even after Kimberly moved to a whole other city to try and escape. It already was so much for me because I'm such a nice, loving, patient, tolerable person. Um, this has been going on since 2006, and it's just been getting worse and worse and worse. And for a very long time, I put this person on a pedestal. I love them. I send emails, you know, publicly, happy birthday and all this stuff. And the entire time, this person was casting spells and manipulating me and controlling my job situations, my relationships. Beyonce's former dance captain, Ashley Everett, has come forward with accusations against her too. Ashley was caught liking some posts and comments against Beyonce, like this one. Woman says people are entertaining demons while speaking on Beyonce and Kalani's music, and you wonder why you're depressed. The post that Ashley liked also referenced Jackie Hill Perry, who has claimed that many big artists and entertainers are just puppets and mouthpieces to promote a demonic agenda to the unsuspecting world. Who told us you gotta be a witch to be black? You are not more black by engaging in witchcraft that is still propagating a white supremacist lie that black people in Africa didn't know Jesus. I am angry that the powers that be in social media and in culture and in music and in Beyonce's music and in Kalani's music and in whatever the other, and in Santa, like I'm angry that they are really trying to convince us that all spiritualism is the same. And we have digested this impurity and this we, we want so bad not to be legalistic that we actually become profane. Kanye West has also spoken about them and he has insider info because he was close friends with the Carters. And he started saying that the Carters are nothing but puppets whose strings are controlled by people in power who are controlling the industry. You get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq. They can control Charles Barkley. They can control LeBron James. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. No, no, you, man. But they can't control me. Dr. Dre, his son. You're out in Hollywood. A lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. And God love me. But back to 50 Cent. He's recalled a story about a run-in he had with Bay at the height of his beef with Jay. And the way he tells it, Beyonce comes across as being possessed. Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce. What was she doing climbing around on windowsills to begin with? Anyway, you don't have to do complicated equations to find the link between Beyonce and Diddy. Check out this picture of them all laughing and having fun with him. If you look far enough back, you'll find plenty of photos they've taken together. DaBaby recently revealed that when he first met Beyonce, it was at an after party thrown by Diddy. Diddy invited about 15 guests over after the main event started winding down. And of course, Jay-Z and Beyonce were on that list. I met Beyonce before. That was one of the people people be like, who you didn't met? You know what I'm saying? It, it, like it threw you out, like it took you back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Beyonce, she, she, uh, I was at a party at Diddy Crib in, in LA. This was, uh, this was, this was the beginning of, uh, 2020. You know what I mean? And, uh, Diddy had, he had put everybody else out the crib. Like the, the influx of people, he had put them out. 
but he had he had a uh, he had took a, a liking to me in particular around the time, man. It was really you know what I mean, like putting his arm around me. Right. So he had put majority of the people out, but he allowed me to stay in there. Mm-hmm. Me and you know maybe about maybe about fifteen others, you know, right. Jay Z and Beyonce being. You know, two of the other 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 15 people in the room. So that that just put into perspective of the type of company I was. I'm not over here saying that Jay Z and Beyonce being at Diddy's house means they were doing anything criminal. You can go to a party and not get into freak offs. But with all the allegations coming out against them, you seriously got to start looking at the people who were close to him. And Jay Z and Beyonce definitely were. And as often as they were around him, it'd be really weird if they didn't see or hear something about all the stuff he was up to. And when Cent, known for being an industry truth teller, speaks up and starts asking about why Diddy's buddy Jay has just disappeared off the grid after Diddy got raided and stuff, it's really making people take a magnifying glass to Beyonce and Jay-Z's relationship with him. Some people understandably are on the side of Beyonce and Jay-Z are business-minded, and they're good at what they do, so that means they have to mingle and network with other business-oriented people. And say what you will about Diddy, he most definitely made money. So of course they needed to be seen with him to improve their standing in the music industry. There are other people who say that Beyonce isn't gonna leave Jay-Z even if he does get outed for doing some stuff with Diddy because she's just like him. People are also quick to point out that the Carters put out the image of black excellence, but behind the scenes they've done what it took to rise to the top even if it meant playing dirty. I've always got a side with my girl Jaguar Ride, right? and she said that Jay-Z is even worse than Diddy. Carter is worse. Uh-oh. Oh, man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. And apparently, other people know it too, and they think Beyonce knows. This person wrote, She's not leaving him. She's a female version of him that's not gonna happen, even though him and Diddy are disgusting. Her turning a blind eye? Just as guilty. Another said, I'm sure Jay made Beyonce his accomplice, so if he falls, she falls. Both are enmeshed in the mess. I doubt she'll divorce him. They didn't call their joint tour on the run for nothing. Personally, I don't think it's possible she didn't know about any of this. And I'm curious what Jay did that makes Jaguar think he's worse than Diddy. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video.